Ladies and gentlemen, I have always opined on this platform that in politics, nothing happens out of mere coincidence and that everything in politics is normally well-planned, well-scripted and executed to achieve a specific political objective. Nothing in politics just happens for the sake of it. On Friday this week, Raila Amolo Odinga left the country for the United Kingdom. And that trip by Raila Amolo Odinga is actually causing serious political headache in Kenya Kwanza. They are wondering about the objective of the trip and Raila Odinga's real mission of going to the United Kingdom. And Denis Onyango, who is Raila Odinga's spokesperson, explained that Raila Odinga is actually going to the UK for one good week. But let us begin by looking at what Raila Odinga posted because that is the main cause of worry for Kenya Kwanza. This is what Raila Odinga posted on Friday, that our paths crossed again last night with my friend Senator Chris Coons heading home to the US while I left for the UK. Wished each other safe flight, hoping to see each other again. Always a pleasure. Let me ask you this question. Do you think this meeting at JKIA was coincidental? In politics, nothing like that. But let us not get, get into that. Let us focus, focus on the issue. According to Denis Onyango, who is Raila Odinga's spokesperson, Raila Odinga is going to the UK for one good week. And while in the UK, Raila Odinga is actually going to hold a series of political meetings with the leaders. And again, he's also going to meet with his business associates. And Raila Odinga will also use the opportunity to meet with the friends and family members. And importantly, according to Denis Onyango, Raila Odinga is also going to use that opportunity to rest, something he's not able to do while in the country. But if you ask me, that trip by Raila Odinga to the United Kingdom, in my view, is significant politically speaking for three main reasons. Number one, Raila Odinga is traveling to the UK just a few days after he had challenged the United States of American ambassador to Kenya to stop interfering with Kenyan international affairs. He used very strong words on her, rogue ambassador. Number two, the meeting is also coming at a time when Raila Odinga had actually met with Chris Coons, the senator who is the face of uh, Joe Biden. And Chris Kuhn had also met with William Samaya So this is the gentleman who broke the peace deal between Uhuru and Raila. So it's easy to conclude that the gentleman was actually also in the country to broker peace deal. And the third important thing is that this trip is coming at a time when the bipartisan talks had actually started. We have uh, Kalonzo Musyoka and uh, Kimani Shungwa leading strong team of Azimio and Kenya Kwanza from Bomas of Kenya, where they're discussing several other issues. But why do you think this trip by Raila Morodinga to the United Kingdom is actually worrying Kenya Kwanza? That's exactly what I want us to look at in this particular video. But before you do that, in case you're watching this channel for the first time, please take a second or two, click that subscribe button so that next time we produce a video like this, YouTube will automatically notify you. And to the subscribers, I want to continue thanking you guys for your continued support. Because without that support, this channel cannot be where it is. And for this particular video, ladies and gentlemen, I just want to make a request to you guys. Please just press that thumbs up button. And if you can, also drop your comment. And of course, I know those who normally send the coffee, the numbers are there. You can always use them. So let us dive in. But before you dive in, allow me to also introduce you guys to Top Mark Movers and Relocations. This is one of the professional companies which are specialized in moving houses, moving offices. They also offer storage facilities and they also do fumigation. So if you want to move from one town to the other, you want to move from city to city, just contact them using the numbers you are seeing on your screen. Now, ladies and gentlemen, let us dive in. Why do you think this Raila trip to the United Kingdom is actually causing serious political headache in Kenya Kwanza because nobody had expected. In fact, if Raila Odinga had not posted about it on that Friday, even Denis Itumbi, who is normally known to be leaking this kind of uh, trips, did not. So why is this important? Number one, in my view, 
Kenya kwanza are worried that Raila might actually be heading to the UK to meet with Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. You know, in this country, the biggest threat, the biggest headache for Kenya Kwanza is the retired former president Uhuru Muge Kenyatta. Actually, they are not sleeping because of Uhuru Kenyatta. And remember, Uhuru Kenyatta had gone to Uganda and met with Museveni. Then Ruto followed Uhuru there. But the question which we are asking, where is Uhuru Kenyatta as we speak? Is Uhuru Kenyatta in Uganda? Is he in UK or where? Because before Uru Kenyatta emerged with that photo of meeting with Museveni, most Kenyans had assumed that Uru Kenyatta was in the United Kingdom because he had announced to the country through an interview by with the nation that he was going to leave the country with his family for a long time. And he gave a specific date, which was on, on the 2nd. Then a few days later, we saw Uhuru somewhere with Museveni, having time and again with Museveni's time. Son, and then later on, Ruto went there. But where is Uhuru? It is safe to conclude that Uhuru Kenyatta is actually in the UK. And Raila Odinga is following him there. And again, going back to Uganda, there is this story which I was reading that one of the Ugandans minister, who is a close associate of uh, Museveni, actually told William Ruto off over the issue of um, milk, which are being imported to Kenya from Uganda. The guy was very bitter with Ruto. And most people concluded that he was actually sending Museveni's message to Ruto over the, his fights with Uru because the guy made a statement, that statement, after Ruto had actually came back again from Uganda, which means he was communicating the mind of Museveni. So the biggest worry is that this guy's fear that Uru Kenyatta and Raila Odinga might be somewhere in the UK meeting. And the question is, what are the objectives of Raila Uru meeting. The other question is, what? who are the others who are also part of this meeting? Who are the others who are part of this meeting in case they are going to meet? So those are some of the worries. Number two, fundraising. There's a possibility that Raila Odinga is in the United Kingdom to raise funds for his second phase of political activities. And that is the only thing which is giving Kenya Kwanzaa sleepless nights. The truth of the matter is that Raila Odinga had started some kind of uh, political activities. Remember before the Mandamanos, those political activities, were they called uh, consultative meetings, people's consultative meetings, which were going across the country before the <coughs> Mandamanos. So I want to assume that was the first phase. Now Raila Odinga probably is seeking for funding for the second phase. And second phase would not necessarily mean Mandamanos. It could be just town hall meetings to educate Kenyans about this uh, government, against the government excesses, just things like those, just his political activities, fundraising. There's no better place to fundraise than UK and the US. You just pitch your case and it's done. Number three, why Kenya Kwanza is worried is probably Raila Odinga is also out to revive his international networks. Let's face it, Raila Odinga did not become the president of the Republic of Kenya. Not because he never won. Because if anything, did Ruto win? I doubt if Ruto won. But he's not the president. He followed all those processes. But the truth is, by Raila Odinga reviving his international networks, Kenya Kwanza are in panic. And for me, if you ask me, Raila Odinga is not going now the way he used to. <clears throat> he's now trying to figure out how he can be made to be acceptable within the international community. So probably he's going to hire some top-notch lobbyist in the US. And the agenda of this lobbyist would be simple, to advance Raila Odinga's agenda. I remember in 2013, was it 2013, 2017, when Uhuru and Ruto were facing serious uh, ICC cases, then they engaged the services of uh, Bill Clinton, who was one of the biggest lobbyists. And that's how they were able to easily inter integrate. So I'm sure Raila Odinga can actually get a very good lobbyist from the UK. They normally call themselves think tank. And that think tank can then push for Raila Odinga's agenda. Because it's so sad that Raila Odinga did not become the president just because he was never accepted. This guy's never listened to him. 
He did not. He ignored those small, small things. So for me, I'm tending to think that Raila might be reviving his international networks. And that's a serious challenge for Kenya Kwanzaa. And that's their worry. Number three, I'm also sure that Raila Odinga did not take the statement by the US ambassador to Kenya, Meg Whitman, lately, that the elections in Kenya were free, that those elections were fair, and that they were most credible. So I think Raila Odinga is looking for platforms outside the country where he can hammer the US ambassador and also to dismantle the narrative that the elections were actually free, fair, and credible. So that's something I'm sure could be the thing. He might organize, they might organize for him some meeting where he's going to address the world and probably give his thoughts on the election regime so that it can counter that narrative which the US ambassador had started. And lastly, my, my, in my view, is that it's also going to be a I mean, uh, it's also going to be an opportunity for the people's president, Raila Molodinga, to take a break from politics. Raila Molodinga need a rest. This guy has campaigned. He's so old today. He's campaigned and he has never rested. For some of us who really love Raila Molodinga, we told him, to after the last election to just take a break until after some time, probably by maybe next year, it would have made a comeback. But Raila Odinga felt that that was not necessary. So he's been with us. So he's going to take a one week break. So for me, that's a good chance for him to, to have a, a small break and also to deny Kenya Kwanzaa opportunity to get an agenda for their week. Because someone was asking me, Lee, what about if Raila Odinga was not in the picture, would Kenya Kwanzaa have any agenda? That answers you, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, and may you have a good day. Bye-bye.